we know that there's a higher than normal incidence of scabies around Gibraltar in general. So it's not at all surprising that uh, an enclosed community like, like Hillside could, could actually get it. But we've identified it. We, we've identified the people who have it, we've identified the close contact and we've recommended what treatment they can get. And we'll be keeping a very, very close eye on it just to make sure that, uh, that it clears up. Scabies is a little mite. It's not a virus or a bacterium. It's a tiny little mite, which is a smaller than an insect and it, it gets on your skin and it burrows into it. And it can be passed on to, from person to person um, through really prolonged contact, skin to skin contact. The most common thing is when people are holding hands and it just gets, gets on that way, but also through bedding, if people are, are sharing the same bed, sharing clothes or whatever. So it's not very easy to pick up from person to person and you can't get it from animals. But, and the other important thing is, it, it's, it's not a very dangerous condition or disease. People don't die of it. It's unpleasant and it's nasty, which is why we want to kind of take the, the um, you know, the opportunity to deal with outbreaks when they occur and get rid of it. And, and it's very treatable. There are two ways of treating it. Either, either applying a lotion or, or, t or there, there's also a tablet, tablets that people can take. The usual thing is a lotion in the first line of treatment. It's done under medical supervision. So if you need it, you'll need to go to your doctor, get a prescription and follow the instructions. And it's really important as well, as, as the medication, any bedding or any clothing must be washed at the same time. That means that the mite doesn't survive because it can survive for up to four hours in the bedding and the clothing. So just make sure that, that, that you get rid of the mite at the same time as you treat yourself because otherwise it will come back and you'll get infected, infested all over again. People don't need to be isolated. Um, that's, that's an important thing, thing to remember. But if you know somebody that, that actually has scabies and they're being treated, um, certainly for the first 24 hours after treatment, avoid skin-to-skin -skin contact with them. And, and you should generally be okay.